Hey Vapors, uh, Captain Cosmo Bagel here. I bought some G Plat Elite 26 from some company in Oklahoma. But uh, I've always wanted to see a side by side of it with uh, Nichrome, Danthal, that kind of thing. So I've got a few others here. I did a little bit of testing early on with just the wire I already had. Uh, I noticed that my multimeter doesn't give good enough readings to do much. So I'm just going to use six inch pieces on a little ohm meter and we can do the math. Alright, first let's uh, open up the package. Let's see. Here's what I got. Some of this G Plat 26. Rip that open there. Hopefully this is on camera because I ain't checking it. Uh, sorry if this goes a bit long. Okay, some lovely cotton. Don't need that. Let's open up this wire here. Alright. Let's see, I'm just going to cut a piece of this off. Oh gosh. Isn't this a mess? I wish it came on a spool. That would be nice. There we go. Mangled it up real good. Alright, let's just uh, take a section here. Get the old ruler out. Let's see here. Gosh, this stuff's a mess to work with. There we go. Alright, right about there. We're going to be real scientific. Set that aside. Okay, first off, right here we have some 28 gauge uh, Canthal A1. And we're just going to measure that real quick. It's six inches of it. It comes out to 2.46. So, okay. So let's just uh, turn that off. And where'd my screwdriver go? All right. Take that out. Take that out. Okay, now this right here is 26 gauge Canthal A1, or at least that's what I was told it was. It should have, when I measure it, it should come out to uh, moth bums here. Should come out to. 3.31 ohms per foot. So if we half that, we should be seeing, I'm just going to do something like 1. I don't know, 65. Is that good? I'm not good at doing math in my head. Here we go. Oh, I'm sorry. This is so painful to watch. Here we go. Okay. So we've got uh, 1.22. Okay, so we'll figure out what that means in a few minutes. Let's move on to the 26 gauge Nichrome 60. Get that in there. There we go. This stuff right here. And uh, based on resistance charts, this should clock in somewhere. Oh, come on. Around uh, 1.23 for 6 inches. There we go. So 1.23 for 6 inches. Now for the G plat. There we go. Here it is. Feels about the same as Nichrome. Do I mix them all up here? Shit, I bet you I did. Let's cut another piece because I don't want to screw this up. One more section here. Get 6.5. 
six inches right there. Night crow is flying everywhere. There we go. Alright, let's trap that under this one. If we can. Oh, and excuse the burn on my hand. That's an oven burn, not a vaping burn. And come on. I'm using my Odin. RDA base for this and there's a little piece of paper here I'm using just to keep as an insulator since I'm sticking this out so far. There we go. Get that in there. Did I trap it? Okay, 0.86 for 6 inches. So it's not Nichrome 60. We know that. And at uh, 0.86. We're looking at uh, 1.72 ohms per foot. So that's new information. It is lower than Nichrome 60. And there you go. Hey Vapors, back again. I realized I left out a few things, so I thought I'd throw a little bit extra, drink another beer, so I'm ready to go. Okay, so this is this 26 gauge A1 Canthal, or supposedly it is. Uh, it's coming in at 1.27 and at 6 inches. So that comes out to 2.52 ohms per foot. Advertised that is supposed to be 3.31 ohms per foot. So I'm not sure that this really is Canthal or that all the charts online are wrong. I don't know. But I wanted to say that. Uh, the 26 gauge Nichrome 60 comes in correct or right in the right zone. And uh, where's the screwdriver? Get that out of there. And I didn't talk about the wires anyway. So, uh, this is, it feels like Canthal. It, it, it definitely has the Canthal feel to it. It's springy, hard to work with, annoying. The Nichrome not as springy, not as springy at all. Um, easier to work with, I can tell that. And then the G-plat, it is the least springy of all, but still got a little bit of spring to it. Anyway, let's hook this up back up one last time just for fun. Anyway, I just wanted to get this out there. Maybe y'all want to Test your own wires. Just cut off a six inch piece, throw it on your own meter. See what you get. Stupid magnetic everything. Uh, maybe you'll find that what you thought you were vaping off of wasn't what you thought it was or doesn't come in right. Like this uh, 26 gauge that I got. Maybe it was mislabeled. I don't know. .82, so we're looking at uh, somewhere around 1.6, 1.7 ohms per foot. So 